653 right now. Time for your Friday Express. Yeah, but you, we begin with a live roundup of today's top stories. We're going to get right to Jumi Olabanji at the live desk with breaking news. Jumi. Uh, well, police overseas say a suicide bomber detonated a bomb at the U.S. Embassy in the Turkish capital of Ankara. We know that two people, at least two people, have been killed and several others have been wounded, according to reporters on the scene there. Uh, this is, you're looking now live at a Turkish news station right now with live reports of the coverage going on here. We know ambulances and fire trucks are headed to the scene and witnesses say there was a loud explosion just a short time ago. This apparently happening near the visa office. This is a story we'll be closely following here for the uh, latest developments check out wjla.com Brian well, Jimmy, some possible traffic tie ups this morning and during this evening's rush hour. Not only do we have the snow to complicate matters this morning, but also take a look behind me. You can see the ramp closed. There are some closures affecting people in the outbound areas of the city, including the ramp here to Pennsylvania Avenue. Also, the eastbound section of the southeast southwest freeway from 395 to Pennsylvania Avenue. The closure is expected to last 18 to 20 months. Anybody who usually uses that part of the eastbound southeast freeway should use the 695 bridge instead. John. It is the Friday before the big game and downtown New Orleans is jam packed this morning with fans from around the country, especially, of course, from San Francisco and Baltimore. It's actually impressive how many people have actually traveled to the Big Easy from Maryland. Now, the city is also showing a change with police presence, a lot more police presence than we saw earlier this week. Keep in mind, not only is New Orleans preparing for the Super Bowl on Sunday, but Mardi Gras a few days after that. 